Hello everyone, it's Miao. Today I'm back again to do TFI Building Navigation Guide. Today we're gonna do Navescan County Jail. So this is the rally point. I select tier 6 infestation to show you how much uh, zombie is gonna be if you actually play in tier 6. If you play in tier 5 clear, it's gonna be a little bit lower in number but not that significant, still a lot. Let me show you the ammo that I bring. I bring these ammo because I actually know that this place is not stealth friendly. You will need to run and gun a lot. Now, enough talking, let's get started. So, after you start, the first area you need to clear is behind that sandbag, both side. Okay, let's start here. For me, if I can, I'm gonna use bow and arrow due to the fact that I want to save a lot of bullets as much as possible. For running gun build, uh, when you run in and shooting, please avoid that area because you're gonna spawn another wave of trigger and butch. But you can actually do it if you want to enjoy a lot of fun, such as this. Okay, let's just move in. Okay, let's just show you guys in here. If you want all the fun, here you go. Oh, shoot! However, if you want to be safe, then you will go to that area the last, as well as the stealth build. Now, after I clear that, let's move to that spot. Now I'm gonna run out and start shooting them down because they're gonna spawn under from that and then above and jump down. For me personally, I will shoot above first and let them duck down. You might actually spawn screamer in this process, so be careful also. So let's jump on the sandbag and go up. You can play around here if you have park or skip. Let's keep kiting them. I suggest you play in daytime because some of the zombies will not be fair out and in the walking speed which is gonna help you a little bit not a lot but a little bit okay let me heal a bit you might as well so now I have two points I'm gonna as well to take pain torrents more okay now after you clean this we will go continue forward to here and turn left and go through this hallway the empty hallway is actually a little bit of hint that the next wave is also going to be ambush you need to go up this stair there will be ambush waiting for you they will spawn on the left and the right of those walls and go down for you at the window let's aggro them now the next area above will be an office which is actually gonna make you feel like oh you can stealth here but actually the trigger point gonna be in that elevator so you need to mix and match this next we're gonna go to that area which is also uh, stealth friendly magnum if you're far enough you can still use magnum shotgun or sniper rifle in a uh, stealth mode but you need to make a distance from you and another sleeping zombie after you clear that next uh, we're gonna need to go there sometimes this door will be destroyed after the first wave of those zombie that's run from above to under to ambush you at the first floor so yeah but it's supposed to be locked like this next we're gonna go here this is gonna be another spawn you need to go out there and then circle around to the left to another office and then when you go to that office there are going to be zombies spawn above you here and flank you from behind so this is depends on your creativity now I will block it and try to force them to go another way I think it's enough now we go here and then there will be a trigger a lot of zombies will drop from above around here you will trigger them and also aggro someone from the, the right side Let's go. Go. <laughs> yep. Now it's your creativity of how you want to play with it. 
so for now there's no fang. Let me maybe I'm just gonna eat llama stuff and lose some ammo. Next we're gonna drop here. This is gonna be self player friendly. You need to clear the upper level and the under level. After you're done, we're moving forward here. Okay, this is also um self friendly of those two zombies, but there will be one trigger here, but it's not a lot, it's a little bit cute for this guy. Turn the red wall and then you can loot that. Next, we continue onward. There will be a kitchen on this side. You will need to clear it. Also, still friendly. However, there is one trigger there. Yep. You need to come here to trigger him, by the way. You can't just like walk out. You need to go around here to trigger him, otherwise, you're not gonna spawn him. I'm going forward to this room. Next, we go through here. And through here will be another stealth friendly. Except that room. That room will be a trigger one right zombie. Come too close to that guy. Yep, let's just try to kill him as fast as I can. Okay. Next, we clean this room. After done with this room, next will be a big trigger point, big ambush. So ready your gun, ready to run around. After you trigger that switch, you will need to run outside from here. Let's go. Hello, people. Be fast because there will be another set of them. You can just keep running to the end. There will be another set of spawn there, but this place is better for you to play with it. Uh oh. I shouldn't spawn that. Now, before you move on, let's just clean this area in case you didn't spawn them. It will, this will be trigger also. You can't stealth. Whoop. Okay, you're done. Now, has a breather before we move on. So the dog we killed before is supposed to spawn around here or in that room. Depends on your luck. Now we're gonna continue onward to this here. You can run here. Now after this, we'll be all stealth friendly until the last area. So this is gonna be a little bit of breather for you. Stealth player, a lot of voucher. Now we go up there. Okay. Well, just should be a rope there one. Oop. After you're done, oh, we're going to this area. Another self friendly area. You can see all of this worker. Okay, after you're done, you walk toward this exit door. There's a switch. And then will be a lot of vulture outside. In, I think it's tier 5. Sometimes they don't spawn any vulture at all. If I remember correctly. Now this is the loot room, which is the last area, which you can see that it's gonna be a drop off from here. There is two ways for playing this. Okay, you can't do it otherwise you just need to go into the area. It looks like a dead trap. You need to run up this stair and go out this room and trigger the switch. This is the exit from this room. You can run through here, run as fast as you can and then play around outside of the area. You just go out, turn right and turn right again and then you will exit this building and play around outside. Now for the people who has parkour skill, you can actually just drop on the poles and play with the pole. Technically anyone can do this but sometimes if the police zombie shoot the projectile, people with parkour skill might jump higher and get to safer spot better than people that don't have parkour skill. Okay. Oh my gosh, starter. Here we go. Yes, this is why I bought this. Let's go, people. If you have rocket launcher, I recommend you to bring it to this place. If you're confident, you just drop down and play with them. Where are you, mister? Is it back out? Oh. And we done. Congratulations, you just finished. Now it's getting county jail. Now enjoy the loot that you actually earn it. Okay, after you loot as much as you can, 
we come here to this room that for run and gun build you already might already been activate this to run around after you go out you turn right and right again and then you should end up at the front of the gel and that is going to be your vehicle look at the amount of the bullets that i actually got back from the quest is actually okay i guess that's it guys for now with gain county gel and thank you for watching see you again in the next video bye bye